this from big business marketing and branding many small businesses most of them aren't branded they haven't done the work of branding which makes it hard to do the marketing let's say you start a service business right cj's hauling service and you advertise as a hauling service you don't advertise as a cj hauling service by putting a brand on it you can charge more money one of the big problems that is going on with small business is a lack of systems and processes when you have systems and processes you're able to scale and that's the number one problem that we have with many of the solopreneurs it's just one person running the business there are no systems there is no processing there's no marketing there is no branding if you want to grow your business you need to make those things like a machine they need to be humping and humming one of the things that i've did over the years is each iteration of this channel i've branded it when it first started off uh i should have called a channel storage auctions in action or something like this the name of the channel was glendon 007 i don't know why i came up with that but i did do the the branding Today, this is Glendon Cameron, the author of Making Money with Self-Storage Unit Auctions, A to Z. And I branded the channel based upon this book. I wrapped the channel around this product. And this is one of the things that you can do when you're starting your YouTube channel, that's funny. All right, so when I started this channel for about five years, this channel <clears throat> was wrapped around this book, Making Money, A to Z with self storage and auction. You know, someone asked me what book did I write? You know, there's Google, Glennon Cameron, book, it would pop right up. Um, one of the things that I did that was smart was I wrapped the channel around this book and the messaging was consistent for years. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, author of Making Money A to Z with Stuff Storage and Auctions. That was part of the marketing. It is easier to market a brand than it is to market nothing. One of the things that happens is people will start businesses and they have no advertising plan, no marketing plan, no way to get to their targeted audience. And in many cases, they don't even know how big their targeted audience is or how little it is, or is it growing or shrinking? Like my target audience is young men, 25 to 35, who want a better life, who want to make more money. So I know that audience is ripe and robust. Uh, last time I looked, I saw that 98% of the people watching this channel are male and 2% female. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my market to come to the channel. I'm getting people to invest. But if you start a business, you want to invest in branding, the profit hat, money, income, profit. I got three hats. Um, <clears throat> and one of the, the big things is a brand is something that you can build on. Hustle can make you money very quickly, but it's very hard to build that into a brand. So, you know, there's guerrilla branding it's techniques very quickly. There's uh, there's many different ways that you can start. Like one of the things that I started with 
Disruptive Mail. That's a brand. And I started the new channel, which is the Influence Frame, because I saw that my brand, which was a really good brand, got associated with trash. And once your brand gets associated with trash, it can be hard to rescue that brand. So I keep the brand for the school, Disruptive Mail, and that's where the products and stuff are sold. But once again, you, you need to brand your business and you lead to learn how to market because marketing is saying business X sells Y, you know, ABC. That's marketing, you know, infusing your brand into your marketing. You know, Apple, whenever you see an Apple commercial, you know, it's an Apple commercial even before you see the product because their brand has a consistency, a certain type of fabric, a certain type of feel and look. And this is, you know, and they've done an amazing job of branding. And whatever you're <clears throat> you're selling, go ahead and get yourself some T-shirts printed up. Get you some gear with your company logo. Get a logo made. You know, you can have one done on Fiverr. You know, it can evolve over time. And have yourself a press kit because that will force you to, to answer some marketing questions and branding questions because if you want to grow your business, it's much easier to grow a brand than a hustle. A hustle, you can make money, you can be rolling really quickly. But the limitation is a hustle is an, is an introduction to customers all the time. Because once you feel a brand, and this is the thing I've done over the years, is I've had brands that had people who bought every product. That's like, well, this is Glendon Cameron. He's over here. This is what he's doing. This is what he has. And one of the things that I'm getting ready to do is to create some new brands and create some new information and training for you guys because there's, there's so much more that I can do. So when you're putting together your brand, you need to understand, like, uh, you, you need to have a tagline. Because one of the things I haven't done since, you know, I'm in this fight with YouTube is because uh, th this is a new thing because I'm cut down on the live streams and I'm posting more videos. Because, see, part of my issue with YouTube is they're trying to kill a channel and it creates problems for me how i deploy videos but we're working on that we're working on how we're going to set that up but i'm going to become more consistent with look feel and theme of the videos and we're going to get more into some training topics like today branding and marketing it is very, very important. And I don't think enough people put enough time into that because once you start the money train, once you start money coming in, these things tend to go to the wayside and it's all about the hustle for the next sale. And branding and marketing is something you think about. It's like, what does this brand represent? How do we market that? What does this brand look like? What does this brand feel like? What does it taste like? Um, I'll give you a good example of a very interesting brand. All right. Let's see. Alrighty. 
see, even the website has a lot of interesting stuff. World's first t-shirt bakery. Um, they have physical stores where the shirts are in ovens. He, I mean, they have put a lot of time and energy into the creating this brand and people go crazy and people love it. This is how the box looks because all this is part of branding. If you're selling a physical product, your packaging is part of your brand. And this is how they roll out. And he makes a lot of money because they've done an excellent job of positioning and branding their merch. Because what they're moving is merchandise. And they have a Raven fan base. So, you know, if you want to look at some branding, check out Johnny Cupcakes. How they get down. And look at this little guy. This is where the stores are. They have events. They do a lot of stuff that makes their brand very interesting, very appealing. And if you wanted to, you can get custom merch. And this just shows you the power of branding and the power of attention to detail. It's all these little things because I'm getting ready to revamp money, income and profit. Getting ready to revamp the everything. Because. You know, this is an excellent. Excellent case of a brand. And one of the things you want to do is like you should go to this website and look at what they're doing for their brand and ask yourself, why aren't you doing similar things? Because this is a very, very good example of a positive forward thinking brand. And you've got to brand your business. You need to sit down, take a few days, think about the name, think about the colors, think about all of this stuff that's going to constitute your brand. Because once you brand it, let's see. Because he's branded this, they charging 36 bucks for a t-shirt. And I can tell you that this T-shirt's cost at scale is probably two to three bucks. So they're making a lot of money because they're going at higher ticket size because they're a brand. And this T-shirt isn't just like one of the blank stock T-shirts. It has a nice feel, has a nice heft to it. And this little guy cracks me up. Here's one. You know, vibrant colors and stuff like this. So just take a moment, study Johnny Cupcakes and ask yourself, what are they doing that you can do? Or one of your favorite brands, one, you know, you can look at Apple, you can look at uh, Lexus, you can look at, you know, Ford, you can look at one of these iconic brands and see what they're doing to make their brand pop. And that what you can bring to the table to make your brand pop. Because during the internet phase, there are so many things that you can do to build and shape and create your brand. And it starts with just thinking. 
to help you with this, I have a blueprint. Be sure to get your free audiobook. The link's below, and there's a pathway if you're new to the channel and you're new to me of the courses you should take to build a proper foundation for you to grow a business. You know, you can do a hustle, which is quick, fast money. You may need be in a situation where you need that. Or you can begin working on your business, which these courses below will help you achieve. That's the goal. That's the end goal. So I'm going to pop up a commercial here in a minute. See you guys later. Hey, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel. They'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life because this is one of the things that I have learned when I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy, and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here. And we're going to go under, all right? So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the Hustler's Mindset, Pimp Your Mind for Success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this. Money Management the Basics of Finance and Wealth Development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now, I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming a Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. 
And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resell. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because 
from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself you need to um believe in yourself mike ellie this ain't no theory this ain't no theory man these courses have come from my business experience there is no theory here Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting that generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are the only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People, that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. 
because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.